What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey. And if you stick around in the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our review? Today we're looking at the Amroot Cast Strength. Stick around. All right, so we've got a cool one today. We're leaving Scotland, we're heading over to India. Uh, this is my first review of an Indian single malt. It's my first Amroot review, so I'm kind of excited about that. Amroot is known for having a pretty distinctive profile. We've got their cast strength with us today, so this should be a fun one. Now, I actually have kind of mixed feelings towards Amroot. I think it's a great brand. I think they make some amazing whiskeys, but at the same time, they have quite a few lackluster whiskeys in their lineup as well, and they tend to be the more affordable ones. It's one of those brands where you have to pay the extra money. You have to move up in terms of pricing to really see what they're capable of. I find a lot of their entry level stuff generally pretty forgettable or maybe just not for me, you might feel differently, but stuff like the standard single malt, uh, their peated expression, even the fusion, which is a really popular one, none of those are favorites of mine. I do feel like, again, you have to move up into their more premium expressions, that's where the brand really shines. Stuff like your Porta Novas, your Intermediate Cherries, your Cadam Bands, those are all excellent whiskeys and some of their single cask offerings are honestly some of the best world whiskeys I've ever had in my life. So definitely a distillery that's capable of great things. But on the whole, I find the line to be a mixed bag. Anyway, our cast strength here has been fully matured in bourbon casts. I've got the blue label version. There's also a yellow label version. I believe the yellow label version is older and this one's the more recent one, but they still have the yellow one up on their website. I don't know what's happened with the labels. If you do, let me know down in the comments. The bottle I've got here is batch 104. It came out in January of 2020. Uh, these ones are usually around four plus years old which is normal, which is to be expected. Of course, India is a very hot climate and maturation and wood interaction happens quickly. So yeah, four years in India should be enough time to get a little bit of complexity, maybe even a little bit of maturity out of our whiskey. Uh, of course, Amrut is a very well-regarded distillery and we have a cast strength expression here, which means we can expect some big, bold flavors. So this one could actually be a fun one. Why don't we hop into our review, see what our whiskey is all about. And in the meantime, if you could kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. So not surprisingly, we have some pretty solid specs here. Our ABV comes in at a whopping 61.8%. It's gonna be non-chill filtered and our color's natural. So we have a beautiful natural color to our whiskey. It is quite dark for a four-year-old whiskey, but again, warm climate to be expected. Um, as for bottle design, I do like the blue label on this one over the yellow label on some of the other releases. Um, overall, I think it's a decent look. It doesn't blow me away, but yeah, it's good. So I'm gonna give this three and a half out of five for presentation. We do have non-chill filtered natural color on the back. Beyond that, there's not a lot of like useful information for us here. There's nothing about the production process, no tasting notes, but whatever, that's fine. I do think it's a handsome bottle. Looks good on the shelf. Let's try our nose. Big. Honey, uh, lemon, some spice in here like cumin. Uh, it's quite fruity as well with like these apricot kind of like papaya notes. We've got some sesame, some fennel, some mustard in here, um, some sultanas. And there's like this kind of dry mustiness to it. Now the palate. Mm. Big. Thick mouthfeel. Again, honey, lemon, cumin, continuation of the nose there. More mustard, um, spices, chai tea. Uh, we have some biscuits. We got plenty of wood here. We have some sarsaparilla notes, um, sawdust, and again, that mustiness. And now our finish. Okay, um, big, full. Things are getting more spicy here. I'm definitely getting some like white pepper, maybe even a little bit of chili in here. Some anise, uh, fennel, mustard, cumin, more of those exotic spices. Um, there is a hint of cardboard to this. What else? Sarsaparilla. Uh, this is a long warming finish. All right, so this is pretty powerful stuff, which is to be expected. Uh, a bit of water definitely does it some good. Um, it's a more powerful, intense, complex version of your standard single malt that we get from Amroot. And of course, Amroot 
always comes in with these really unique flavors. This one's no different. We definitely have the house style on display and this is not psychological. We really do get these sort of like exotic Indian spice notes in the Amrit profile, uh, stuff like your mustards, your fennels, your cumins, those really shine through here, which is great. It's also got some nice heat to it. I think there's good heat and bad heat. This is definitely good heat. Um, it's got some kick, but it's never too like hot or alcoholic. Uh, there is a cardboard note in here that doesn't really do much for me. Cardboard is a note I usually associate with youth, but this one doesn't taste like it's unready, like when you find that cardboard note in a lot of these younger Isla single malts, for example. So I don't really take issue with the age. There are a lot of flavors in here that I do like, a few that I don't really get on board with. Again, that cardboard note. And there's also woodiness, kind of like a sawdust or musty style of wood. Normally that's not something I would have a problem with, but I don't feel like it's very well integrated here. Still, on the whole, I do think it's decent stuff. It's a distinctly amroot flavor profile. We have some great intensity to our flavors here. Now it's not the kind of profile that I would normally gravitate towards, but I still like it and I'm still gonna give it an 84. Um, I think we have some great, powerful flavors in this. Again, the balance can be a bit wonky at times, but overall it works. Still, this whiskey is drinkable, it's punchy, it's characterful, it's never boring. I think there's a lot of great individual flavors in here that we can enjoy and kind of like pick apart. Um, on the whole, it works. I think if you're a fan of the regular standard release of 46%, you'll get on just fine with this one. But as someone who's not a huge fan of that release, I'm not in love with this one, although I do think it's a step up. Um, comparing this to something like the Fusion, again, a very popular one, I probably like them about the same. I think they're both decent introductions to Amrut. But if you're just getting into Amrut, I'm not really sure they do the distillery justice. Amrut makes some genuinely amazing whiskeys. And, you know, I don't want to go out and tell you guys to spend more of your hard-earned money. But again, Amrut really does shine with those more premium expressions, unfortunately. So obviously those more premium expressions by nature are going to be more expensive, but I'm going to recommend those ones to you over this one. Uh, in terms of value, I think this is just okay, not great. I think for the money, there are better buys to be had out there, mostly from the scotch world. But if you're going to insist on an Amrut and you want to stay within a certain budget, which is totally understandable, or if you're just a big fan of that regular uh, single malt release at 46%, sure, give this one a go. All right, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hit subscribe down below, click that little bell icon, and of course, smash the like. Now, I do want to hear from you. Have you tried our Amber Cast Strength here? How would you compare it to the rest of the line? Finally, down in the comments, let me know what you want to see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye, guys.